Hello, welcome to Mix Training. This is Better Mix, and today we're gonna learn how to export Houdini particles to Maya using Houdini Engine. All right, so for some reason, I have this particle man who is actually dying to be rendered in Maya. <laughs> And I'm going to show you how to export these particles to Maya. All right. So this is just standard Houdini particles. And we're going to do. And we're going to do a, an asset that we're going to load in Maya using Houdini Engine. So for this, you need to have Houdini Engine for Maya already installed. And as you can see. Here, I already have it. OK, so you have to install it then. Go to plugin manager and activate it. Uh, here is for me. Auto load. Okay, close. So now let's go back to Houdini. And what we're going to do is an asset. I already have it here, but I'm going to redo it just for you. So let's create a geometry node. I'm going to call this particle exporter, maybe. You can call it whatever you want. And hide that one. So here, I'm going to load the cache that there, there, I already have the particles because these particles are, uh, there's a lot of particles. So I'm, I'm loading a cache that I already uh, baked in Houdini. All right, so here's my particles. I'm loading the particles. Now what I'm going to do is get this node, go to uh, assets, new asset from selection. Uh, it says if I want to create a subnet, say yes. Now call it uh, what you want to call it. Uh, let's call party call X order. And I'm going to save it in this project job here. Particle exporter accept. There's the HDA that we're going to load into Maya accept. Now what we need here in the parameters, we only need to go to the node properties and actually not for from nodes. And go into the subnet and to the particle exporter file. And we need uh, the geometry file and maybe the reload geometry just uh, for safety. Let's select both uh, transfer and subnet and make those invisible. We don't need those. Apply and accept. And now you can see our asset has a path uh, to the file that we just uh, exported. Uh, I'm going to make this by default. Uh, Maya will not know how to interpret in interpret. Uh, Maya will not know what this heap file is. So we're going to uh, deal with that when we are back in Maya. Uh, so let's just rename this particle exporter. And that's basically all we need to do. Uh, let's make sure that it's saved. Save it. Now let's go to Maya. Uh, Houdini engine, load asset, and go where you save your asset. Mine is just here, particle exporter. Open it. And you can see my it's complaining that it doesn't know what the hell this thing is. So let's just, uh, you can go select the path or not use the, the heap um, variable there. Let me just select. So the good thing about this is that now you can select any uh, particle cache you have in Maya with this. It says you want to replace it, just say yes. And then just uh, sync the asset. And now there it is. You can see there's my particles. And I can, uh, I can play. I don't, I can play because this is just, uh, uh, one frame. So here you can actually use F4, like in Houdini. And that would work. You can see now we're loading the particles in Maya. And now here, Maya, you can do uh, anything else. You can see the particles come with the uh, colors. And here, Maya, you can just uh, render them. Uh, there's no light, sorry. Let me just create a sky dome light, render this. And there we go. You can do whatever you want here in Maya. The, the particles will inherit the color, the uh, point scale, and all that stuff. So once you are here in Maya, you can uh, treat your particles as uh, any other particles, do whatever you need here. 
And, uh, and that's it. If you want to load any other, actually, geometry from Houdini, you just can use your this same asset and load any sequence uh, from Houdini that you need. So there you go. Sweet and simple. And, uh, and you're set. Awesome. I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. If you enjoy this, please uh, like and subscribe so other people can benefit. Uh, please support us on Patreon. And that's it. Let's keep learning together. I will see you in the next one. Cheers.